Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Could you please take a seat? Sure. I understand. Well, I see you need to stand. Yeah, there's a lot of ways to stand up. All right. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay. You don't have to touch it in there. Okay. And the now the prayer of the day will be said by who? You will. <laughs> yes. Okay, Brian. Prayer for the day. Give us time. Time for patience. Time for understanding. Time to remember. Thoughtful deeds to do. Time to believe in our fellow men and women. And a time to perceive the value of being a Rotarian. Um, Amen. Amen. <clears throat> And who has a thought of the day? Kim Tavenier, your thought? I have a thought of the day from our friend um, Bob Saget. Oh. Hmm. My father once told me, and it stuck with me to this day, as you walk through life, every time you fart it, pushes you forward. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank you, Kim. <laughs> and now, uh, coming up with our... Uh, <laughs> Our schedule upcoming on January 20th, that's next week, Jennifer Lyle from Relay for Life will be talking to you about the cancer or about a cancer fundraiser. Is that correct? Thank you. On the 27th, we have Don Copen, Executive Director of the Library San Jose Library Foundation. We have a club assembly on February 3rd, and do we know if that's lunch or dinner? Yeah. Lunch? Lunch. Okay. Lunch. You want to make that lunch? Yeah. A club assembly that's every third. And then on the 10th, we're having a club assembly with election of officers. You should have all gotten that in the grapevine. It was very detailed by Mr. Brian O'Neill. If you have any questions on that, please direct them to Mr. Brian O'Neill. <laughs> <laughs> now, I'd like to turn it over to Ken Cavanaugh regarding our Super Bowl party. Ken. Uh, February 13th, Super Bowl, whatever. Um, yeah, can you come closer? Oh, sorry. Because it turned out that ear is like a long word. Okay, we'll be having a Super Bowl party February 13th at my house. Um, we will, uh, we're probably going to have some sort of a, we'll see, potluck, or uh, depending on which teams are playing, we'll have food, uh, the theme of the food based on where the two teams are from. Cool. And then we will have, uh, We'll have squares ahead of time, and then we'll have squares there to uh, to get involved. And there will be uh, there's going to be a, a lot of people. So we'll probably if we do a potluck, we'll just just come bring something, and there'll be plenty. I have plenty of um, drinks, and Brian's going to bring the bar, and we'll be outside <laughs> with other activities like um, cornhole. And Dave Olson's a big fan of beer pong, so we'll have yes. we'll all be some kind of fun stuff to do. And uh, and I please come and attend. So we'll have probably uh, like, I don't know two or three TVs outside, and then um, there's two TVs inside, and then maybe one upstairs. If you make a sizable donation to the Polio Foundation or something, you can have the balcony upstairs has its own TV and a separate maybe a higher end menu. Well, well, wait a minute. With bottle let me, service. Let me hear that again. What did you say? If you make a sizable donation to the Polio Foundation, you can sit upstairs on my balcony with your private TV, couch, and bottle service. Oh. And by my 15-year-old daughter, Laura. So there will be sign up, but please, uh, just keep it on your calendars uh, so, and bring friends. We'll have a good time. Thank you, Kim. Yeah. And following we got February 27th. On February 27th. On February 27th. This is specifically for the ladies in the group here. First woman president of Rotary International, Jennifer Jones, will be speaking. 
I believe this was at the Marriott or Blackhawk Museum. Blackhawk. 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 Tickets are going very quickly. The last time I talked to Flynn, they had like literally a few left. So if you want to go, you need to make your plans right away. And in that note, I do want to mention that. Do we have another? Oh, that's it. Okay. No, we have. I did go to um, a, a district event this past Saturday for membership, and Richard D. King was there along with a couple other folks talking about membership strategies. And again, we were, if you didn't read the grapevine, I did put in there that we were recognized as having one of the best increase in membership in the district with five net new members. So we need to keep that pace going. That's why I have business cards for everybody. If you haven't gotten them yet, please come to me so I can get those seats and start passing the doctor perspective members. Good job, Dave. And I think, oh, International Women's Day. Yes, that's on uh, March. Third. Is that, I can't, is that, what is that, March 3rd? No, March 13th, I'm sorry, March 13th, 4 to 6.30, and this is going to be at the uh, Rotary Summit Center, which is where the San Jose downtown Rotary meets. It's going to be International Women's Day, specifically for women, International Women's Day. Oh, my ladies. You are, and we're going to reserve a table there. It is a $50 fee to come in. If you're a prospective Rotary member, it's only $25. And it's going to feature uh, the uh, Almad Thomas, who's the chief executive officer of Silicon Valley Leadership Group, and Parna Bawa, who's the COO of Zoom Video. So it should be pretty cool. Uh, there's going to be some networking, appetizers, wine, so you will get your money for it. And I think that about the food now, or do we have another one, Brian? Yes, we are having an official uh, nomination voting for next year's officers. This is going to be the one on February 10th that we're having. We need everybody to come. We need everybody possible to be here because your vote does count. Brian, did you want to go on that, Brian? Okay. Um, I'm going to, yeah, I just wanted everybody to know. Um, after I'm going to start talking about all the things that I do for this club, and because I am taking a please mute. Can some people mute? And and so I'm going to be gone from July 1st till June 30th because I'm uh, um, or July for for six months. <laughs> Well, I'm going to Sicily and I'm going to the Alaskan tour, you know, oh, wow. doing all Lucky sorts of you. stuff. Yeah. So I'm not going to be able to put on Zoom and all that thing, but Jesse's pretty I'm much, sorry, Jesse can probably do that. But there's other things that, you know, this, and that's what part of this meeting is for, is to figure out, you know, we got all these new, I mean, we have all these new people, but we have positions and I don't think people really understand what they entail. And so I think that's why we want to have these two assemblies back to back. And we got to start talking about that. You know, what does club administration do? What, how about the grapevine? Do you want to do grapevine every week or do you want to do it once a week? So there, those are the kind of discussions along with having an election because I think, again, I want people to see and uh, make a commitment about who they elect in president and, and the next president and all that stuff. So that's it. Brian, can you hear me? Yes. yes. Brian, this is Wendy. Is there a document or if there isn't a document, could one be created that details what different members are doing? So for example, if the president wrote a little blip about what he does and the youth community person does what they are and the club administration types it, could we put these together so new prospective members have one document that can that knows what the responsibilities are. I'm all for an in-person meeting, um, but having this document started now and keeping it live as we go through, um, knowing what the responsibilities are of each position is something that we we should have just in going forward. Yeah, I, I agree wholeheartedly. Um, 
there, there is um, on, uh, we have what, what's called a blue book and Jerry, it has it on our website. So I'll look at it and I think it needs to be updated and, and changed for, cause you know, those things have changed over time. Evolved, let me use the word evolved. Okay. Thank you for that suggestion. Okay. Thank you very much. So uh, I think that concludes. Oh yeah, that concludes. Does that include our announcement, Brian? Yes. And we will have Rod Geard on senior speaking starting at twelve forty-five to one fifteen today, guys.